And this feels so weird filming a video after so long. I think it's been like five or six months. So much has happened since I last filmed. Like we're in 2020 now. I can't believe it. I hope there's no lipstick on my teeth. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe I'm actually finally sitting down and filming a video. Believe me, I have been wanting to film for so long, but honestly, like, motherhood is just... It's a whole other story. A lot has changed since, since I last uploaded a video, which I'm gonna talk to you guys about in a bit. But for today's video, I just kind of wanted to do something fun, something lighthearted, not like any of my content is deep but I just wanted to start off with like a, a shopping haul or an unboxing of my boxing day shopping that I did which I know it's been like over two weeks since boxing day I only ordered from two places I didn't even go boxing day shopping in person for the first time in years because I just didn't have the energy I couldn't be bothered um, so I just did online shopping from Zara and from H&M but before I get into it just wanted to share some quick life updates with you guys well, a lot of you know that obviously I've had a baby um, I obviously filmed a pregnancy Q&A and then a diaper bag video but I never got around to filming my labor and delivery video and believe it or not it's been a year since I gave birth so it's she's already one years old she turned one years old on January 4th 2020 I know so many of you are waiting for me to film and I promise that is going to be the next video that I will film I wanted to start off with something fun and easy to do um, because the labor and delivery is like a lot of detail um, it's gonna be a lengthy video and I don't have a lot of time on my hands right now I made my husband take my daughter out um, for a bit so that I could film this because if I'm home and she's home she's all about me she needs all my attention so that's why i decided to film this video instead of starting off with my labor and delivery video so since i last filmed i believe it was in june or july i'm guessing i'm assuming let me just check let me check okay so the last time i filmed um and sorry published the video was july 18 and basically since then um july so i was six months postpartum i was um basically off from school from work i was on maternity leave and i was just taking care of my baby and so yeah that's what i was doing so towards the end of july around july 25 i don't even know why i specifically remember that but i okay so a week before that I'm confusing you guys aren't I when I published my last video I basically around then I had like this really weird feeling and I'm very in tune with my body so I kind of know when something is off and something is wrong so something was just telling me like you know something doesn't feel right and so I decided and I didn't even like I didn't miss my period yet but I just felt like I should take a pregnancy test and so I did and it turned out positive and then I took one another one the next day and that one was also positive and so turns out that while being six months postpartum with my daughter Alea who was six months old at that time um, I was pregnant and I'm currently pregnant <laughs> so that is a major life update which is why I haven't been able to film um, it's just been really hard taking care of a baby who is not even one years old yet. Well, now she's one, but she wasn't one then. And also having to just experience pregnancy symptoms um, all over again. And this time around, it's just been so hard. So that was in July. And then in September, I started college again. So I had a full course load. It was really hard. Took a toll on my body, like... Physically, I was constantly in and out of the hospital. Um, I'll give you guys all of the details in like a pregnancy Q&A or pregnancy update video. Um, but yeah, so since then I've just been like focusing on myself, focusing on 
my pregnancy, focusing on taking care of my daughter and focusing on school. So I have wanted to film, but I just haven't had the time. But for today, we are going to be doing an unboxing of my Boxing Day shopping. And let's get right into it because I think I already blabbed on a lot. I actually did my shopping online. I only bought from two places, so Zara and H&M. So I'm going to start with Zara. Another thing, because obviously I had to let you guys know that I was pregnant, I'm also going to let you guys know because I'm pregnant, this is not going to be a try-on haul because obviously I can't fit into some of these clothes. Like, I could try, but I don't want to rip anything in the process and these are all new clothes, so yeah, I, I want to keep them for after pregnancy. So I had to zoom out a bit because you guys won't be able to see the stuff that I bought properly. Um, so basically the first store that I bought from was Zara and I got this really beautiful black tulle dress. It has like these white little um, embroidered flowers on it and it is long sleeves, it's flowy and it comes like with this um, spaghetti strap lining underneath like a dress. So I would still definitely have to wear something underneath like a long sleeve black t-shirt or turtleneck but this is what it looks like and it's really long it's flowy at the bottom it's really cute um, and originally this was $79.90 and I got it for $35.99 which is actually pretty good um, and I got it in a size small so I didn't get anything um, for this pregnancy like I didn't get any clothes that I could wear now just because honestly I hardly go out and I'm home most of the time other than college and that too I just wear comfortable clothes so this is all clothes that I will be wearing after my pregnancy um, and I haven't gained that much weight so I think it's just baby weight that I gained so I'm not concerned about not fitting into these clothes um, but yeah this is the dress I hope that you guys can see it I'm really trying my best to show you guys but it's really long it probably goes until like right before my ankles so the second thing I got was this jumpsuit it's like this really beautiful green it's not it's not a khaki green but it's not like an emerald green it's right in between and it's really nice this is actually the color that we painted our living room um, like the accent wall it is long sleeves and it comes with a belt which I love I love accessorizing my jumpsuits with belts and this one already comes with one so that's a bonus and it's just a long jumpsuit and it has so the pants are not they're straight legged so they're not um, skinny and they're not like flared like palazzos they're just straight legged and so this was also in the size small and I got it for $35.99 and it was originally Let's see where the price tag is. $79.90. So same thing as the tool dress. So the next thing that I got was this maxi dress. It's a two-toned maxi. And this was also in the size small. Originally $49.90. And I got it for $25.99. So it has this elastic waist. It is black at the top, long sleeve. And underneath the elastic waist, the rest of the dress is this khaki green. It is so beautiful. Um, it's super wrinkled right now, but this is what it looks like. If I tried to wear this right now, like during my pregnancy, I think I might rip it. <laughs> but it's super long and it basically reaches my ankles. So I really like all these dresses. I'm actually excited to wear them. I'm due in March, at the end of March, so basically April. So I'm really excited to wear these during like the spring slash summertime. Um, the top is like this silky material and the bottom is more like a cotton material. So it's really nice. And I got another dress which is also two-toned. And this is a size small as well. So it's like this black and this mustard yellow color. Long sleeved again. Comes with a belt right here. And this was originally... $49.90 on sale for $25.99 and I got it in the size small. This is not a maxi, it's more like a midi dress so it will probably go until like past my knees, maybe 
by my calves but this is what it looks like I'm trying to hold it up show you guys it sucks that I can't try any of this on because honestly I don't think it will look flattering um, if it doesn't fit properly and I really did want to do a try on haul but there is no way that any of this is gonna fit me and then I got this really beautiful black dress so it looked nice on the model online but I wasn't like wowed by it but I kind of also wanted a new black dress so when I got it and I opened the package I was like wow because it's honestly so nice it is this black satin like you can see the material it is this black satin dress it has balloon sleeves and it's just super long and flowy and it has um an elastic waist and it just kind of flows like it's just so pretty if this was in a different color it would be so nice for vacation like if it was in like a green or a red or even a mustard yellow it would be so nice to wear on vacation like it's just so beautiful and it's just so flowy like I can't wait to wear this uh, this is also in a size small and again originally 80 bucks which I would not honestly I know Zara material like the quality is really good but I would not pay $80 for this dress it was actually $35.99 on sale I usually don't purchase from Zara throughout the year like regular priced items just because their prices are pretty hefty i mean the quality is amazing i'm not gonna lie i only usually buy from zara if there's like a sale so they have like boxing day black friday um and then randomly they will have like a seasonal sale during winter right before spring and that's when they have a lot of good sales too so i just wait for the sales i can't be bothered to pay full price for these items so the next dress that i got is this contrasting striped dress which is so cute um, it is short sleeves, but I'm just gonna wear like a long sleeve like fitted black t-shirt underneath um, It has like these frills on the sleeves and Also at the bottom of the dress is like frilly and on the front of the dress right here It has like these black frills, which I love the detailing of the dress and it was $45.90 so I got it in a size small and I got it on sale for $25.99. So I'm excited to wear this as well. Let me just show you again. This is what it looks like. And the last dress that I got from Zara. So I was actually iffy about this because I love animal print. But at the same time, it depends on what it is. So like if it's animal printed accessories um, or shoes, something that you can like pair again and like over and over again with different outfits, I don't mind. Um, but like a dress or like a top, I feel like it's kind of hard to pull those things off differently. Like, I really like this dress, so I got it anyway. Um, it's also two-toned. The top is black and then the and it's like this cotton material and then the bottom is this satin material and it's printed with a bunch of animal print on it snake print cheetah print zebra print i thought it was really cute um i also got this in a size small originally 35 90 and i got it on sale for 25.99 so not that much of a discount but still pretty affordable so this is what it looks like and it is not full sleeves it is um, I think this is this will go up to my elbows maybe like not even three-quarter yeah it'll just go right past my elbows um, but yeah so this is what it looks like so that was it for my Zara haul now I'm gonna do my H&M haul I'm gonna be pulling things out of this giant reusable bag that's because the box that I got it in was destroyed by my nephew I love him to bits and pieces I love him to death um, he basically used the box it was like this humongous box I don't know why it came in such a big box um, but he just basically sat in it and was drinking his milk and chilling and watching his nursery rhymes and just chilling in it and so the box kind of opened up so I couldn't take it home so I just put everything in this giant reusable bag so I'm just gonna be pulling things out from there so the very first item that I got from H&M is this beautiful snake print dress it is this nice khaki green it's long sleeves it is see-through um, but it does come with a black 
lining underneath which is like a spaghetti strap dress so i would still have to wear something underneath but it has like this high collar high buttoned up collar and it's just a super super flowy dress like it is so nice and flowy this is the bottom half and it's just like so flowy so nice i got a couple dresses that are similar to this one um but i've seen them at h&m for full price i think they're originally like 40 or 50 or 60 bucks i don't even know but i got it on sale for like 20 i believe um so that was a steal and i got this in the size four and then i got this really cute i don't know if it's a blouse or if it's a dress but it's this floral printed i feel like it will reach my thighs so it's kind of like a dress like a short dress i don't even know but it has like this really cute detailing around the waist area it's like this lace um and it's long sleeves and it's just super cute and this is in size six i don't know why i sized up i just feel like size four might be a little too tight for me around like the armpit area and i don't want it to rip so i went a size up with this top or dress whatever it is super cute and it just gives me like spring vibes <laughs> and then i got this really cute denim dress again i got this in a size six it looks kind of big but i feel like if i got a four it would really hug my body and then it just wouldn't look nice because i would have to wear something on top to cover myself and it would just defeat the whole purpose of the dress so i got this in a size six i don't know how much it is i don't have the prices the tags don't have the prices on them but this is what it looks like it has like this button detailing and it comes with a belt and it's pretty long i think that it will go up until um i think it will reach my calves actually so that's actually really nice um that it's not short like it's usually when you see denim dresses they only go um above the knee but this is pretty long so i'm excited to wear this i got this really cute floral jumpsuit i'm obsessed with jumpsuits but none of my jumpsuits fit me anymore after having a baby, there is no way that I can squeeze myself into those. This one's so cute. It is floral printed. It has like a frill detail on the neck. It's long sleeves. Um, and then the sleeves have like this elastic detailing. So it goes tight around the sleeves. I really like that. Um, and it comes with a belt. And the bottom half, like the pants, are super flowy. So unlike the Zara ones, these are like more like Palazzo pants. So I'm really excited. This would actually be really cute for vacation and it's not even see-through so i wouldn't even have to wear anything underneath and it's just super flowy then i got this white sweater this is in the size small i just really liked it's like this cable knit like chunky sweater it's more like a cardigan actually but i really like the detailing of the belt if you can see this belt right here i just really like that detail so that's basically why i got it um but yeah it's really cute i don't know how much this was i'm sorry i don't have the prices i'd have to open up my sister's email and i don't have her password basically bought it off her account so that i could get a discount um so yeah i don't have the prices for any of these and then i got this really cute mint like pastel colored dress it is so cute i love the detailing it has like this crochet um white detailing on the sleeves as well as around the waist i got a size six and i just thought even if it's a little bit flowy it'll look cute with like um skinny jeans or even mom jeans so that's what it looks like i absolutely love the detailing i could probably wear this like pull this off right now in pregnancy it would actually look really cute with my bump <laughs> and then i got this black and white striped dress i actually saw this in this in green and white in h&m like at the mall um but i never bought it i couldn't find the green one online i did find the black one so i just got the black one but it's just like this maxi dress or it's a midi dress actually has a collar buttons um and it comes with a belt and it's just it's super simple but it's super cute that's what it looks like and it's flowy and I could just wear this with like leggings and this was also in the size 6 I sized up in this and I thought if it doesn't fit me like if it's a bit loose it comes with a belt so I'll be able to tighten it and then I got 
this beautiful floral dress which i saw on my best friend and i absolutely loved how it looked it's not the same style but the print is the same and it is a maxi dress it is turtleneck like a high neck it is super stretchy the top half and the bottom half is just super flowy and long it will probably reach my ankles and then it's long sleeve as well and it has like an elastic sleeve so it goes tight at the wrists and it's just super cute i think originally it was oh, this doesn't have the price on it um it's like 60 and i got it for 20 so that's a steal and i got it in the size 4 just because it's already so wide and so flowy so i didn't think that i needed to size up in this so i got one that's exactly like it but in a different color um similar print same exact style but a different color and it's just so beautiful this one's my favorite actually i absolutely love the colors on this it's so beautiful and i'm so excited to wear i can probably again wear this during my pregnancy it would actually be super comfortable to wear during pregnancy so perfect timing my husband just got home with my daughter and i have one more item to show you guys from h&m this is again a similar style to the floral printed dresses that i just um and long sleeve this one is see-through though so i would definitely have to wear something underneath it does come with lining but again it's those spaghetti strap dresses um, so my arms and like my neck area would still be exposed so I definitely have to wear something underneath and it's just super long and flowy and it's this brown and white colored zebra printed dress so I'm really excited to wear all of these when the weather gets warmer I could wear these right now um, but the weather right now is just sucks it's really cold out so I don't think that would be the best idea but these would be perfect for summer so that my friends brings me to the end of my boxing day shopping haul I hope you enjoyed it I know it really sucks that I could not do a try on haul but I hope you guys enjoyed that as my first comeback video please do look forward to my next video I'm gonna do my labor and delivery story because so many of you are looking forward to it and um, I really do want to share my experience with you guys. Again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below um, telling me where you guys shopped on Boxing Day if you did any shopping um, and if there was any items from here that you guys found cute. Um, I will definitely try to find the links to all of these items and leave them in the description box down below but I don't know if they will still have them and if they do have them, they probably won't be on sale. But I will try my best to find the links to each of these items. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video.